Hi, my name is Daniel Solot, and I am from the suburbs of Chicago, Illinois. I'm a rising junior at LMU, and this summer I had the pleasure of interning at TTV Productions in Tel Aviv, uh, in Israel. My boss, his name was Zafir Kochanevsky, and he worked with three other people, his co-producer, Miri Ezra, um, their assistant, whose name was Sapir, and a freelance worker who's working on a project of theirs named Gali. Now, I was in office every day from usually around 9.30 to 10 until 4.30 to 5. Um, my boss was very relaxed. He gave me free reign to come in when I wanted and leave when I wanted as long as I was getting my work done. But it was important to me to show him that this job meant a lot to me and the opportunity meant a lot to me. So I would always try to make sure that I was there early and sharp and um, I wouldn't leave until I made sure that everything was done. Some of the roles that I had when I was there was um, researching for documentaries that were going into production. So for example, I did um, research on modern day dictators uh, across the entire globe. So I did research on Hungary, I did research on the Philippines, I did research on um, what effects old dictators have had on modern times, such as the Trump era. And um, outside of the dictatorship, I also did research on the history of masks, which was very interesting considering the global pandemic that we just went through. Um, I got to start with you know, the history origin of masks and then work my way up until modern times and see how it progressed through medicine, how it progressed through ritual and how it progressed through different cultures. Um, one of the best freedoms that I was given in this job was he, my boss really gave me the opportunity to have my own creative experience. So on the first day, he made sure that I understood if I ever wanted to come to him with any ideas or if I had any thoughts for him on his projects that I should speak my mind. And that gave me the confidence to um, really express myself in my writing. And I produced, or I, I pitched him a movie idea, which he told me that he was very excited about and he wanted me to write the script. I got to participate in that all summer and at the end, we had a meeting where he got to read my script and give me feedback on it. Um, I also was a big part of his editing team. So he has summaries of certain projects that are yet to be in pre-production. They're just sort of in the stage before where they're getting a group all together. And um, I had to do some research on real life events that could be incorporated into the story. So uh, one of his stories has to do with the Israeli Mossad and an agent going undercover in Italy. And the summary was written before the events of this took place, but the event that I had to research was over the summer, um, a boat full of Israeli Mossad agents and Italian Secret Service agents were supposedly celebrating the, um, the stopping of a arms deal between Russia and Iran. And during this celebration, there was um, what is claimed to be a weather phenomenon that knocked them over and drowned most of the Israeli Mossad. And so I had to rewrite his summary and incorporate that into it, which was super cool. Um, I was also working a lot with my boss's assistant, making sure that he was on top of his schedule, making sure that he was uh, getting emails out to certain agents, certain producers, making sure that he was building connections with people all across the country. We had to deal with companies in Australia, companies in America, agents in America. We did some um, work with Germany and Hungary, and it was really cool to see how all of these different um, international companies sort of came together in one place. And um, overall, I really loved my work experience. It was my favorite thing about being in Israel was getting to go into the office and talk with these really, really knowledgeable, really experienced people. Um, mostly everyone in the office spoke English, just his co-producer did not, but it was very easy to communicate with her because um, we had a lot of the same ideas. And so it was just someone else around to sort of translate. It was, it was very, uh, key that we would work together. And I hope that someday I get to go back and work for him again. It was a wonderful experience and I can't thank him enough for, um, what that job gave to me. Um, 
Yeah.